In this problem, we have a converging lens with a focal length of 88.0 centimeters. And we have an object that is 155 centimeters away and a height of 13 centimeters. Now we're asked to find the image distance and the image height. So if we start with our formulas, we have 1 over F equals 1 over P plus 1 over Q, where F is our focal length, P is our object distance, and Q is our image distance. So in this case, we know P, we know F, and we're trying to find out Q, our image distance. So we'll solve for Q. So we'll just subtract 1 over P to the other side. So we have 1 over Q equals 1 over F minus 1 over P. And if we do the reciprocal, so Q equals 1 over F minus 1 over P, and this is the inverse. So what I do is I plug in our knowns, 1 over our focal length of 88 centimeters. It's 1 over P of 155 centimeters. And that is inverse. So I go 1 over 88 minus 1 over 155. Gives me a number, take the reciprocal of that. That gives me a Q value of 203.6 centimeters. So that's our Q value. So now if we actually draw our ray diagram out for this, we're going to see through there, there, that we have an image there. Okay, now our third one can actually go right through the center. We'll be at the same spot. Okay. So we said Q is 203.6, so this is 203.6, and we want to find the height of our final object, so our magnification is equal to our final height divided by the initial height, which is also equal to negative Q over P. Since we don't actually know the magnification, we know our initial height, and now we know Q and P. So we can solve for H prime, our final height equals negative Q H over P. Q, negative 203.6 centimeters. 203.6 centimeters times our height. The object is 13.00 centimeters. 0 0.00 centimeters. All divided by P of 155 centimeters. And if we multiply that through, we get negative 17.07 centimeters. And that is our final answer. And if we look at that, we can tell it's negative because it's actually inverted. And it's going to be 17 centimeters tall, a little bit taller than the original. Those are our final answers.